So I personally love Google Drive, Google Photos, a lot of the Google suite, right? Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, all that fun stuff. They have a ton of really cool features. They're easy to like collaborate with other people with and like auto sorting in Google Photos blows my mind. Like it knows all of the cats, all of the cars, all of the, it knows a lot of things. It's a little creepy, but it, it is actually useful. But along those lines, what if you like those features? You think they're really cool, but you don't want to use Google for whatever reason. Maybe you don't want them to have your data or you just don't want these things to be on the World Wide Web, etc. Well, I accidentally kind of stumbled upon a replacement that I thought maybe you guys might be interested in because it allows you to use basically most of the really cool features of Google Drive and Photos and the different, you know, Google Docs, Sheet, etc but on a local drive that is your own. So the way I figured this out was that while using my own NAS, my network attached storage that I use for video editing and all that other fun stuff, there were some apps I found in the actual NAS itself that looked, they looked pretty familiar. Now Synology, the manufacturer of the NAS that I use and a lot of editors use that I know, added some apps to their own proprietary OS that runs on their storage units. That adds the same functionality as some popular Google Cloud apps and figured there might be someone out there that would want to know about these apps. Now, if you don't have a Synology drive, I've linked to a few of my favorites below in the description. Now, I use them for a number of reasons. They're relatively inexpensive for a NAS. They have serious processing power, which helps me with my video editing and that kind of stuff that I need to do with it. They're upgradable and more pertinent to this video, they have their own proprietary software, their own OS that runs in the drive at all times and it works like a, like a real operating system complete with apps. Now also Synology drives don't come with the actual drives. They're just like the housing um, and all of that software magic, et cetera, I just mentioned. But uh, here also I'll link some drives below. The ones that I use are Ironwolf. I appreciate them. They're inexpensive when you're using big hard drives and can get a lot of storage for not that bad of a price. Plus they have like guarantees on if data's disappeared and that kind of stuff, which is for me as a video editor is always important, but uh, I'll leave those below for you to check out. So first up, let's talk about an app that I found first called Drive. Can you guess what Google app this mimics? To install on any Synology NAS, you first log in to DSM, which is their proprietary operating system via the URL that you have set up. I made mine my own personal one, but by default, it's an IP address. Click on the package center, which is their app store. Search for and select drive, then click install. Once installed, don't open it there or it'll just open the settings for drive. Instead, click on the app drawer icon at the top left of DSM, then click on drive in there. It'll open a new window and once it's open, you'll be greeted by a familiar interface that instead of showing you all the files in the NAS, like the normal file station app in here does, it simplifies things to only show you what's in your drive folder. Now you can add new folders or upload files using the plus button at the top, add labels to things to keep them organized, share them via link with various permissions, etc. And if you download the Drive desktop app, you can even set it up to sync folders on your computer to the drive in two-way sync automatically. Again, like that other company's app does. They also have a mobile app, which basically just works as a file explorer, but it allows you to access the folder in your drive from anywhere. And navigating around it, it actually works pretty well. I mean, it's very, very similar to Google Drive. And so because of that, it's pretty intuitive as to how you use it if you've ever used Google Drive. And being able to find files and folders and all that other stuff works super quickly, again, thanks to that processing power that the NAS has, etc. Also, you need to install Drive on the NAS in order to get the next two apps. Now the first one is called Moments. And you install it by clicking on the package center again, search for and select Moments and click install. Once that's installed, click on the app drawer icon at the top left of DSM again, and we're gonna click on Moments in there. It'll open in a new window, and then you can click the plus sign to create albums or upload photos, videos, and it even puts them in its own albums automatically like Google Photos does, based on subjects, places, tags you create, and even people the latter of which you can attach names to and it'll try and group them into albums of those specific people, again, like Google does, which is pretty impressive. Now it's not as good as Google's. They don't have the data as a NAS company that Google does as Google, but it still works pretty well. Also, like Google Drive, you can click on any of the photos videos and yes, it looks strikingly similar and have a couple of very basic editing tools for now, but also the ability to share them with various permission levels like you could with the Drive app and the receiving party doesn't need to have an account if you select public link, by the way. Now lastly, the last app in here that caught my attention was called Office. You install it by clicking on the package center again, search for and select Office and click install. Once installed, click on the app drawer icon at the top left again of DSM, 
Click on Drive in there though, because it doesn't actually have its own app. It works within Drive. Now you can select the new document, spreadsheet, and slides options from the plus button to create any of those types of files, and you'll be able to work on them within the browser window. Again, think Google Docs. Once in the document, spreadsheet, slide, you can edit it like you would any other web-based file, complete with the usual formatting options, fonts, etc. You can also add labels to the file to find it in Drive easier, share it like you can any other file in Drive, or photos and videos in Moments, encrypt it to require a password to open it, etc. But there you go, super quick, all set. It is kind of cool, I think, because you can use basically the same features as Google Docs, Google Photos, Google Drive, like I mentioned, and yet kind of have the security and functionality of it being on your own drive at home. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, like this video and subscribe and ding the bell next to subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, click the link below to be taken to my email newsletter that goes out once a week every Sunday and it'll send you tips and tricks, the videos that I've done here, but also things that I've done on my website that don't necessarily make it here to video. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.